Hey y'all, today I want to tell you about how much money I made on YouTube in my first month of being monetized with 2,000 subscribers. Before we get into my story, let's go over the requirements for monetization. When I started my journey to get monetized, you needed to meet two requirements. One, have 1,000 subscribers, and two, have 4,000 public watch hours in the past 12 months, which only come from long-form content like this video you're watching right now, or have 10 million public shorts views in the past 90 days. Since then, the barrier to entry has been lowered to what you see on screen, but ultimately, you still need to hit the two requirements I just discussed to get access to full monetization. Now, let me tell you about how I got monetized. Christina and I started making videos in April 2022, right after we found out that we were pregnant with baby John. Our intention was to document her pregnancy, but there was one small problem. I didn't actually upload any of those videos. I took them, I edited them, put a lot of hard work into them, but I was way too nervous to upload them. So fast forward to January 1st, 2023. As part of my New Year's resolution, I started to upload my old videos. I didn't really like them, but I figured that the worst that could happen is that nobody would watch them. <laughs> And that's exactly what happened. Even though I was really bummed about the fact that literally nobody was watching my videos, I didn't give up and I decided to change course and I started making shorts, and in doing so I discovered that they were a really great way to get views. Let's start by looking at my subscriber count. You can see that I was averaging around 100 new subscribers a month from January through April and all this growth was strictly from my shorts. I started by posting every weekday and then incorporated weekends, and then doubled up on my posting on weekends and was consistently posting 9 shorts a week going into May. Now this is where things started to get interesting because I found my niche in posting Squishmallow content. You know, note the giant cabinet full of Squishmallows behind me. <laughs> May was my best month of subscriber growth to date, and I've since leveled off but consistently bring between 4 and 500 new subs a month. At this point, I was halfway to my goal, and then something amazing happened. A few of my videos really took off. I'm part of some YouTube subreddits, and people are always posting about how videos can just randomly go off after months of being dormant. I got like all of my watch time in a month. It was crazy. Unfortunately, after I hit my requirements, the interest in my long form content cooled down a bit, but I've stayed consistent with my shorts. So let's talk about the money. In my first month monetized on YouTube, I made a grand total of $12.58. Is this number as high as I would like it to be? No. But am I happy with it? Yes. Because this represents a step in the right direction. Besides, I'm very aware of why this happened. Shorts. Hey wait, before you click off this video, I've got something really cool to show you, especially for all y'all who are thinking of starting a channel yourselves. Check this out. This is a graph of my earnings over the past 28 days, which straddles July and August. Between August 2nd and August 3rd, I have my two best days, and there's a reason for that. In July, I got 200,000 views on my shorts, but I only got paid at a rate of 6 cents per thousand views. In this same period, I got 362 views on my long-form videos and got paid at a rate of $3.12 per thousand views. But in the first six days of August, I've made just under half of what I made in the entire month of July. And this is because I got almost 2,000 views on a long-form video I posted last week. I understand that the amount of views that I get are really inconsequential in the grand scheme of things, but I think that it's important to document a journey for the purposes of hopefully reflecting on it in the future. So now that we've covered the money I've made and how I've made it, I want to give my opinion on shorts. Everyone on Reddit seems to absolutely despise them. I think they have a purpose. Clearly, they don't make any money, but they do allow small content creators to garner an audience. What I'm finding is that there are two separate audiences, one for shorts and one for long-form videos. 
But for the purposes of reaching the minimum monetization requirements, shorts can help small creators fast track their subscriber count. Okay, so recap on the main takeaways from this video. Shorts equals subscribers and long form videos equals money. But there is one more thing I wanted to talk about. We can see that I'm currently using the watch page and shorts feeds ads. But there are additional ways to monetize that I haven't started to use yet. Memberships allow users to purchase public badges and emojis and access creator perks. These are the options that I can choose for users as well. I need to really think about what it is that I would offer before I turn this on. Supers let users purchase live chat messages that can get pinned in live streams. I don't know if I want to do live streams just yet, so I haven't really looked into this. The last way to monetize is to connect an online store. I don't have an online store, and I'm not sure if this one will ever apply to me. Comment a t-shirt emoji if I should make some shirts with my face on it or something. I hope this video was helpful to y'all. I definitely intend on doing some follow-up videos in the coming months. If you made it this far, I really, really appreciate it. And some other great videos are going to be popping up around my head right now if you want to watch some more. As always, thanks for watching.